Okay, so take two. Um, so I apologize for the angle and, and the overall crappiness of this. Um, and that, that if the mics are bad, I apologize. I'm using the mics inside the headphones, I believe. I, I don't have any way to test that, I don't think. Um, so I keep looking over to the side, like over here, thinking that there's something over here, but really my webcams, my, the camera's right down here. So I should probably be looking into that. But um, anyways, I, um, I apologize for the angle. Um, I had planned to do this on my laptop. Uh, I'm doing this on my phone. Um, really don't like that aspect ratio. It'll, it'll fix itself, I think. Um, oh, let me think. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, yeah, um, I was gonna do my laptop, but the place where I usually work, they replaced the battery backup um, because we had a storm here. Um, th that battery backup blew or like just toast. So we replaced it, uh, but now the battery ba backup is making this ee sound. So it's not very pleasant. Uh, I don't think you'd wanna hear ee. I think you'd rather deal with this than deal with and my voice, I mean, there, there's only so much irritating things people can handle. Um, there I go, looking off to over here. Uh, and just, and for anyone who asks, let me, that's not a shotgun. Uh, that's just like a, it, it's called bug assault. It's like a, it shoots salt. It's like a shotgun, but it shoots salt. So, because we've got, because as I live in an RV, uh, literally, if I lift this up, you could see outside. See? No one's out. Because it's really cold outside. It's like 50 degrees outside. Yesterday, it was 80. Um, so, um, so, yeah. Um, welcome to the patron hangout. Uh, part two. I don't know why I did it like that, but sure. Um, and usually what I do here is I originally, my original patron Q and A thing was just, hey, ask me questions. Um, but then THJ, uh, Tom Stone Judge and I got talking and who is also a patron. Um, thank you, Thomas, if you're DSJ, if you're watching this, I'm sure you'll join later. Um, oh, um, it just kind of evolved into a hangout kind of thing and a Q and A, so yeah. Um, so this hangout, I normally don't do two, but again, I didn't have one in April, so I'm kind of making up for lost time there. Um, I don't know. I know I probably don't need to, um, but just in my mind, that makes it feel right um, that I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Um, so uh, what am I talking about today? I said I'd have things to talk about today. Um, so first and foremost, I want to discuss June, um, since this is going to be the uh, last patron hangout before. Uh, E3, before Tribeca, before all the major stuff starts happening. Um, so let's run it down. Um, I, I can't d discuss certain things uh, because embargoes. Um, so this is all very general. Um, but I, can, I can't, I don't know if I, I don't know what I can and can't say, um, if that makes sense. So let's just go to May 31st, um, which I believe is this Tuesday or Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, something like that. Um, I keep wanting to look like right there because that's where my webcam is, but my camera's right down there. So because my, yeah, phone, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, uh, yeah, um, let's see. May 31st, 
I guess I'll just talk about the embargo. Uh, I'll be reviewing the IFC Films acquisition uh, Undyne. I got that a few weeks back, uh, and that will be out on the 31st. Um, and then, let's see, uh, sometime within that same time frame, I'll be reviewing something I haven't reviewed before. I'm actually uh, going to it tonight, uh, and that should give you some hint, but um, I'm doing a well, not doing. I'm reviewing uh, a live show, the, the Jerry Presley live show here in Branson. Um, and yeah, um, that's going to be interesting because I have no idea what I'm doing there. Uh, but I, I think it'll be something cool that I'll bring to the site. Um, and I think it'll benefit the Jerry Presley show there. Uh, I normally don't talk about those kind of things, but theaters is kind of one of my loves, and so is music, so that's kind of a natural intersection there. Uh, and as we get into concert season, I'll probably start requesting, hey, can I go to th these concerts? Uh, because, again, the whole goal of year two is not to be just seen as a movie critic or an entertainment critic. It's to being, being seen as much more. Um, I want to get back to my local community. Uh, and that's one area where I think I could really help out. Um, so let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, that's this week. Uh, or the end of this week, end of the month. Um, and then the big focus of June will be Tribeca. And forgive me if I get... Um, the date's wrong. Um, I'm sure somebody will correct me uh, when this goes live on, when, when this uh, posts on Patreon as a archive. Um, but I think AFI Docs is the same month, is in June as well, as well as E3. So, oh yeah, May 31st. Uh, that's when creator slash influencer uh, applications open up. So I'll be applying for E3. 2021 as a creator uh, because I'm, I've been looking at the media requirements and that's not um, in my wheelhouse. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not a nationally, I'm not a newspaper. So, uh, so they're just requiring things I can't provide. Um, just statistics that I haven't reached yet. Um, so I'll go for that creator and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, fill you in on that closer to whenever I get credentials. Um, so speaking of credentials, uh, let's see. Uh, I've got Tribeca credentials, uh, as you might have seen if you've been on the Patreon um, lately. Uh, I've got Tribeca credentials. Um, and yesterday, literally yesterday, uh, I started getting request to, hey, can you cover this? Hey, can you cover this? Hey, can you cover this? Um, and I think I this might be a number I'm making up, but I've locked down at least five things that I'm gonna cover in the interview um, pre uh, Tribeca. So that'll be fun. I've got five things in my inbox I'll be watching over the next few days. Uh, can't talk about it. Other than that, I can't say what. Um, it's not anything big. Well, actually, some of them are big deals. Um, but yeah, um, so I'll be covering Tribeca pretty much the whole month of June. Uh, and then I got my AFI docs press accreditation uh, in. I've, I've already sent off for one screener. Don't know if I could talk about it, but it's Amazon documentary if that gives you any hints um let's uh let's see uh do, 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 do. um i did not get my cans credentials um which you know that's no sweat off my back it's it's a big festival so i i didn't think i was gonna get in so i didn't get in 
it's it's just one of those things that happens. And plus, I didn't realize that I would have to go in person. So it wouldn't have been something that would have been uh, that I would have been able to do. And that's a fluke on my part. Um, and also in June, I know I talked about this in the part one of the patron hangout uh, about two weeks ago, I think. Um, but I'll be doing my fundraiser. Um, I believe next every Saturday um, um, for eight hours, I think. Um, but I'll have to go back and look at that um, because I'm on my phone and I can't really pull up my laptop at this moment. I don't have great Wi-Fi down here um, in the rig because Wi-Fi signals bounce off all, all these metal structures and it doesn't result in a great signal. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, and the goal of that fundraiser, excuse me, you're probably hearing me burp and all that, ah, sorry. Um, but the goal of that will just be to fund the entirety of year two and maybe even year three, it depends on how 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 well that fundraising goes. I'll be starting to advertise that over the next few days uh, for non-patrons. Uh, and I'll be publishing fundraising details over those next few days uh, for people who don't watch the patron hangouts. Um, so yeah, uh, that, that'll start happening every Saturday. Um, now there might be days where I'm like, hey, I can't do it. Um, because some, this thing came up last minute. Um, like I'll be traveling to, uh, well, I guess it's not on a Saturday, but I, I wanna say something really exciting. I, I can't tell you what it is um, because I don't even have the screening locked down yet, but I might be going to my first in-person press screening. Um, in next month, next month. Um, I, I, so those of you who are in the industry probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you have a, any idea of, of what movies are coming out in June, I think I, you have a pretty good idea for which movie it is. Uh, maybe not. Um, you may be thinking, oh, um, I, or maybe the movie comes out in July. Um, that might be a better indication. I, I, release dates are jumbled in my head. Um, but yeah, um, let me make sure everyone knows about this. Oh yeah, I just got confirmation. So I'll have to um, get in with that. Um, but anyways, sorry for the plow truck. You probably don't even hear it. But uh, yeah, so those are all the announcements I have. Um, I really don't have anything as far as um, anything else goes. Um, I'm, oh, um, basically just what I'm trying to do is get my name further out there with these festivals. I mean, I'm, I'm covering Tribeca Press. I'm covering AFI Docs Press. I hope to cover E3 2021 as a creator. I, I don't like that term creator, but you know, that's technically what I am. Uh, I create things. I'm technically not part of the media, even though I'm not, even though I'm media and literally every, I've gone to Oscars as press, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so. I'll be back real quick. Let me make sure that everyone has the link. Uh, okay. Just gonna make sure everyone has a link. Because I wanna make sure.
getting this link to people. Copy message text. Okay. I think that's everyone I can hit. Okay. Okay. And for those who are watching the archive and just noticed that, and if any of my video went out, I apologize sincerely. Uh, I'm using my phone, so I'm having to go to Twitter um, to share it. And going live on Zoom is kind of a mess. I actually might, um, and for the people who are watching archive or who are uh, watching this later um, or listening to it later, um, I would love to get your feedback. Is Zoom something that is that that as a platform I, I would love to get your thoughts on whether zoom as a platform um is something that's conducive to this kind of thing i know uh one of the people i follow uh easy allies goes live on twitch uh i think kind of funny goes live on youtube i think not everyone goes live on zoom it's kind of my uh, so uh, Minimax goes live on Discord, I think. Um, so yeah, just let me know what that thing is in the comments, if you're watching this later or if you're listening to this later. Um, well, yeah, I guess that'll work the same way. Um, and if you're watching this live, uh, which doesn't seem there are anyone, it, there is anyone here yet. Um, yeah, just let me know if Zoom is conducive because I didn't think about it until I started poking around for year two details um, about April 28th, I think, is about when I started poking around. I can go live on YouTube or Crowdcast or Discord or anything like that. Um, it doesn't have to be Zoom. And that might even help because I think YouTube and Discord and Crowdcast and all those places hook right into Patreon as an app integration or something like that. So that might be actually what uh, what folks might need. So yeah, make sure there's no one waiting. Okay. Again, if uh, at any point my video goes dark, I apologize. Um, I know I'm doing a lot of apologizing. I, I, I'm just not super used to doing Zoom. Uh, on it both in with wireless headphones and with using my phone as a as as a um as a uh as a um shoot i'll get this someday as a webcam as a camera for zoom but yeah and i mean going back to it um I, I already uh, stream my stuff to Twitch. I already stream my stuff to YouTube. I already stream it to Twitter. Um, if that's more conducive to some people, I don't know if Periscope has like private settings for where you can have like a pri private stream or whatever, but that'd be cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, so. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I could show this. I'll be right back. I'm gonna mute myself and be right back. Because I'm gonna show you something that I think you guys will love. Be right back.
All right, I am. All right, I'm back. Um, so it should be recording. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so I recently bought a grinder, a Cuisinart for, uh, grinder, coffee grinder, uh, because the coffee grinder I have um, currently. Um, or had previous, just doesn't do good and good enough. The the one we had was toast. The one I had was toast. So I bought my own coffee grinder. Um, and I I this is all local beans. Well, not local beans, but um, local coffee shop beans or grounds. Uh, and look at this. There's like little pieces of I don't know if you could see it. But like yellow, flecks of yellow, like almost like sand, and I've got the lid tight. Um, and also, I might write something about this, but uh, yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, I don't know why some of it's yellow and some of it's uh, uh, brown. I, I don't know if that's something I should be talking about or be concerned about. I'm not concerned about it, but some people might. Um, also, huge recommendation. Uh, I don't know where I found it, but oh, this has got a nick in it. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a nick in it. I'm sure this is quality con content you pay for. Uh, sorry. Um, I just think this is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a fine grind. Um, but yeah, I use this with my AeroPress. Every morning, well, not every morning, every other morning, because this coffee is expensive. And but shout out to wherever I found it to say use mason jars for coffee uh, grounds, because this has kept it. Let me open this. Pretty. I mean, it smells brand new. So because the reason it's such an ingenious idea is this creates a vacuum like this seal is just tight you have to really work at it to get it open um and that kind of follows the same principle the aeropress follows which is what i used to make coffee is it just pushing water and grounds through a vacuum into a cup so i thought that was kind of cool i don't know if it's cool to you but i thought it was kind of cool Sorry about that. I, I was scrolling. I was scrolling through notifications, and uh, I was scrolling through notifications and um, accidentally tapped on something. So, which is the benefit of ha having Zoom on your phone? Um, but yeah, uh, well, I. Don't know if I should cut this short or what. Uh, I don't see anyone really on here. Uh, so I don't know. But, uh, oh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out, I guess, uh, to Easy Allies. Um, and, and yeah, maybe maybe something something I should discuss. Um, so, one of the easy allies. Sorry for moving around so much. Um, is that one of the their allies went through a uh, hormone HRT uh, hormone reassignment therapy? I think is what it's called. Apologies if I get that wrong. Uh, and. Uh, she, um, I always forget how to word this, so I, I, I apologize so much. Uh, 
because I have a friend who's transgender and I don't want to I always feel like I'm messing up their name um her name sorry um so before transition her name was Ian Hink so but now uh Yeah, so she went under hormone uh, reassignment therapy. I'm butchering this, wow. Um, so I just wanted to shout out that. Uh, I think it's beautiful um, whenever uh, a person finally gets to um, finally become who they really are, um, whether that be uh, any member of uh, LGBTQIA community plus community, or or even broader than that. When, when whenever somebody accepts their true self, I um or it gets to be their true self, I rather, um, I think it's a powerful thing, um, that I think should be celebrated more and more. In fact, I'll probably, I hope I retweeted that statement from her. You might have seen it on my Twitter, um, uh, but if not, I'll go back and retweet it. I just think it's wonderful, um. And then I wanted to pose a question to you guys, my lovely patrons. Uh, you can answer this in, in the YouTube comments later or the Patreon comments or whatever, uh, or just message me. Um, is MinMax, uh, which is ran by former Game Informer staff, um, put forth the notion they were asked about uh, Patreon being sold as co a, a subscription rather than a support model. Uh, so something I always say is support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Austin B Media. Very simple to say, but something I, I've run into and this is something MinMax noted uh, in, in one of their uh, episodes, I forget which one, um, that Patreon really isn't a support platform. I mean, sure, you're um, supporting that person by giving a certain amount a month, but here's the thing, you give them a month. So are you really like, what? what it, is that a membership model or is that a subscribership model or what? You know, I, I would you guys like me to instead say, subscribe to Austin B Media on Patreon or something like that. Would that be clearer, be a clearer definition of what Patreon is? Because I was talking to somebody um, literally yesterday about what Patreon is and how I get paid on there. And I just, my mind kept just saying, oh, people pay this amount a month and they get perks, which in my mind rings off as a subscription. You pay for Disney Plus, you pay for Hulu, you pay for HBO Max, Netflix, whatever you pay for, um, Amazon Prime, and you get perks. You get the ability to watch Prime Video, you get the ability to, you know, browse, do all the things a Prime Video user, you get perks, you get access. And that's kind of what Patreon is. You get access to things you normally wouldn't. But the problem I run into is is that a subscription model because other people if you go to austinb.media you can still re read my Cru Cru Cruella review uh, it just got ads the benefit of reading on Patreon my Patreon is you don't have ads and you don't have the whole subscribe to Austin B updates subscribe to um you don't have all that stuff because you already know what you're subscribing to. Um, and I really fought against ads, but but ads aren't all bad. Um, I didn't mean to rhyme there. Uh, so yeah, that's something I'm kind of toying around with. And I guess going back to E3, uh, what would you guys like to see from me? Would you even like for me to apply as E3? as an ether creator or whatever they're calling it. Um, but like, do you, did you like my live stream reactions? I guess is a big thing because I think a big thing of ether 2021 is gonna be 
just me reacting to things. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be making that many articles. I think I'm just going to be like, okay, I'm sitting down to stream on twitch.tv slash Austin streams uh, or and do nightly podcasts and all that stuff or daily podcasts, podcasts every day. Um, but like, what would you like to see? What would you like to see from Tribeca? What would you like to see from AFI Docs? Like, the, the, your support literally makes Awesome B Media a possibility. So if I could do anything like at Tribeca or at AFI Docs or at, you know, even thanks for next year, if I can do something for Sundance 2022 that I didn't do for 2021, name it. Um, that's, my, your feedback is the most important thing to me um, because you literally make the thing go. I mean, without that, your support, I literally would not have. Well, I would, but I don't like leaning on it, if that makes sense. Um, like, I have outside financial sources, but. I, I, I do not like relying on them. Uh, I'd rather uh, just use the Patreon money for Awesome Bee Media. So, yeah, um, because that's just what it is. It is you guys make Awesome Bee Media a possibility. Um, because um, let, let, let's discuss something I think I should discuss. Um, I, I guess one thing, one major thing, um, that one major development this week is that a long time ago, I don't remember exactly when I posted this, but um, I posted, hey, um, I got money from a family member and I don't have to push Patreon as much, but I'm still going to. Um, because I think it was back in November when I first started the Patreon. So I guess let me discuss that. Um, a family member of mine died and she left me a bit of money, um, thousands of dollars. I That is all but pretty much gone. That's... Um, so, and the reason for that is I've had to pay for things like co-schedule later, uh, the website, email, a whole bunch of things. Uh, my microphone that I use for podcasting, I paid for, uh, podcast editing on episode three of the Awesome B Media podcast and episode 3.5 for patrons. Um, I paid for that uh out of my out of my own pocket and now is when i'm going to start relying more on the patreon money because literally i'm pretty much dry at this point i don't know if that's something you want to hear but yeah and you're probably thinking how could you spend that amount of money in thousands of dollars in uh, less than a year. Um, a big part of that has to go to um, th that, uh, that thousands of dollars was also going to bills. So at one point I spent a hundreds of dollars on paying off debt. Um, so that that's something I had to take into consideration. My credit score has gone way up. I don't know if you care about hearing about this, but um, it's something that's been weighing on my mind. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, the June fundraiser. Well, like I said, it, it's going to be literally what I subsist off of for Austin B Media. Uh, everything else is just put away in the lockbox somewhere, um, or just used for personal. I'm not going to be using any personal 
stuff for Awesome B Media now um, because I'm running to that point where I'm getting to the, 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 the financial point I don't like. Um, and again, y'all don't need to hear that, but I, I think it's an important, uh, important thing to be transparent. So anyways, so that's that. Um, sorry, I'm just checking, see if anyone on. Um, but yeah, you know, I think, what time is it? 42? 42. Or no, what time is it? 10.40, okay. Um, honestly, I don't really have a whole lot more to say. Um, the reason there wasn't Austin B updates uh, this week uh, was because I literally spent all day answering Tribeca emails uh, yesterday. And so I haven't had time for that or the Austin B Media podcast. So, at, um, so and there was Tuesday I took off, so abnormal week um but this upcoming week will be bonkers i promise you the stuff you see on the weekly schedule is going to be awesome i promise you um so i get i'm gonna cut this a little bit short um just because a no one's on uh and b i've kind of run out of stuff to talk about on my own Nothing comes to mind um, for me to talk about. So I guess, um, oh, June, 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 patron, patron hanging out. Uh, I'm going to be hosting that. I think I'm going to aim for the final week of June, the final Saturday of June uh, is when I'm going to do that. Um, at same time, um, but if I, and oh, I guess give me feedback on, whether this is the right time to be doing it is 10 a.m. Central to back to early in the morning. Is it too late? You know, have you already started your morning routine? Um, that would be essential feedback for me. Um, so yeah, just, just let me know. Let me know about all that. So I guess without further ado, June details, um, last week of June, 10 a.m but I can change that. Like I said, when I announced the part two hang, hangout, um, any of this, uh, any of the hangout details can be changed if somebody can make it. In fact, I got two people who couldn't make it today. Um, so if, if you're watching or listening, um, just know, hey, you can join final week of June. Sorry, um, final week of June, 10 a.m. Central. and Hey, uh, it always can change. But until next time, uh, this is a final Patreon hangout. So uh, I'll see you in June. Bye-bye. Right.